Welcome everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I'm going to be opening up another jewelry box. Uh, I believe this will be my number seven. So I think I have a couple more left or one or so. I'm hopefully you guys are enjoying this series um, as much as I am. I am so lucky I get to go through the jewelry. I absolutely love my jewelry. Um, I'm not sure if you love jewelry, but oh, it just is so beautiful. The, the the light that comes off it and the shine and the colors is just absolutely stunning. So this is the next box. I have not looked into it. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm assuming this box is probably pretty much the same time around that same time. Do you see anything that you like? Everything is for sale. Anything. If you see something you like, let me know. I will just do like a, I'll Google uh, what they go for and then I will dock off like 25% off at the price. So if you're interested in anything, basically I will, so say something that's 100, I'll sell it for 75 or something like that. Shipping is not included. I will pick the cheapest shipping for you. If you're interested in tracking, I can do tracking for you too, whatever you prefer. I'll have my information down below, like my email. Uh, you can also DM me at Instagram. Uh, yeah, so if you see anything that you like, let me know. And even if you don't see anything, if you see something, oh, and this is like that, that's worth like a million dollars, let me know. But um, yeah, if you if you like the series, let me know. I, I am enjoying doing it anyways. So yeah, I have lots of jewelry all over my my area right now that it's like, oh my goodness, girl too much too much too much and I don't know what to do with it because I'm at this situation right now where I'm trying to think what should I do with myself like should I um like with the jewelry like with myself with the jewelry should I uh post post on my eBay or my Poshmark um I'm not too sure what I want to do yet I'm all over the place guys everything it's just ooh, just so much stuff going on Okay, but let's start with the show, okay? This is the first one right here. Let's see what I have today. How exciting is this? Okay, we have a necklace. I did do my research on this necklace when I did receive it. I could not believe it. I was like floored. I was surprised and very excited. I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool looking. I've never seen something like that. It looks like it's vintage. It does have the um, the extender, so maybe it's from the 90s. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Maybe even earlier or later. I have no idea. But there is a tag on this. I can't remember the person that did it, um, but it was, I believe it was, um, you know what? Let me just look and then you can, and then you guys can, it is called... I still don't have my, uh, it's Y-O-S-A, oh, sorry, Y-O-S-C-A, and I think either he's Japanese or Chinese, I can't remember exactly, but he's a designer, a jewelry designer, and he made this, and I think this retail, I couldn't remember exactly, but I'm not going to, oh man, I, how much was it, I can't remember. I'm not, I'm not too sure if it was 89 or 129. I can't remember because it's been a while. Uh, yeah, so beautifully designed. Absolutely stunning. You got the taggers, eye, pearls, and then you got these pearls here. Beautiful. And then you also have, um, they're, wow, it's cool. Look at how beautiful that is. That's stunning. And then I love the way it looks right here, the um, extensions. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Absolutely stunning. I love this. And look at the shine off it. Beautiful. Okay. And then I have, I, man, I feel so like it's Monday today. So that's when I like to work is Mondays on the weekdays. So I'm waking up still. Here is some, uh, two of them, bridal uh, hair pieces and just noticing in them they look like real pearls that's crazy I never even knew that 
Uh, like I said, I haven't gone through these in months. I don't know what, I'm just starting to learn what everything is. So now that I'm looking at everything here, these are definitely worth a lot of money. They're made very well. I probably would have sold these for like $5 each or something like that. I'm learning just as much as I need to as long as I can keep on learning. I want to learn, so yeah. But if you look at this, this is outstanding. If you want to wear this for your wedding, you guys can let me know because these are absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I love them. Something I would definitely wear in my wedding for sure. Okay, the next item here, let's see what this is here. Oh, it's a necklace, looks like an older necklace. It has like a gold and silver tone. That's what the back looks like. Here is the piece. I'm not too sure if it's vintage. I'm gonna just push this this way a little bit so I can make some room here. Cause I want you guys to see it all. Look at that. It's pretty unique and different. They kind of look like beans in a way. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a maker's mark. I'm not sure if this is, I don't think it is, but yeah. There might be a maker's mark somewhere in here but it's made very well. Like, look at the way the clasps are. So I love that, that's pretty cool. Okay, and it looks like there, oh, there's two more items. This one here, this beautiful necklace. Absolutely stunning, I love that one. It's super soft, beautifully made. Oh, I like this one a lot. That's what the clasp looks like, right there. I think I want to move in a little bit closer so you guys can see the more of the detail. I find that when I watch jewelry videos, I want to see what everything is. Mm, it doesn't look like it has a maker's mark, but it is stunning and it is very elegant. Um, maybe there's a mark inside, I'm not too sure, but I'm not really looking for marks because it'll take too much time, right? Way too much time. I'm just going to take a picture. Yay, perfect picture. Okay, here is a rhinestone, old rhinestone hair piece here. That's vintage, definitely, it looks old. And it's made very, like, you get the little um, wire in there. Pretty cool. I think I have something similar to this. I have, I'm telling you guys, ugh, I have something similar to this. And I think my daughter did the research. I think they were going for like $29 or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. okay, so I'm going to put everything back in there. So if you're interested in anything, let me know, please. Sorry, I just felt a, like a dry hangnail there, and I did not like that feeling. So I'm just like, my I did my nails like a couple of days ago. I think it was Friday, and I just really, like, I just needed a change. So, yeah, I'm just filling them now. Just, you know, when you have your nail polish on, you just kind of fill them up and just see what is missing and what's dry and what's not dry. That's what I'm doing, okay? That's why I paused, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, so then I'm going to the second one, the second row. This is gonna be a long video, I could see already. Oh, look at this beaut. Because there's a lot of stuff in this one. This one does have a hang tag. I'm not sure, it looks like a dove, maybe. Oh, it does have a name on the other side. Uh, not too sure if you could see what that is there. It is stunning though. It's a beautiful piece, made very well. I love the way the interlock is. It doesn't have too much of a long, look at those gorgeous stones, guys. Oh my gosh, woo, bling bling, I love that. Definitely some kind of, something that I would definitely wear. One of my favorites, I love rhinestones. Oh, I, I feel like I'm such an old like soul. I don't know about you guys, but do you guys ever feel that way? You're just like some old soul? I, that's like, I feel like I belong in like, these days with these, but I, I am so grateful. Okay, here's the next item. I don't wanna to talk too much, I'm talking, I feel like I talk way too much, this lady, me. Okay, here is the next piece here. And it is a different kind of connection, so it's probably made by someone that might be popular because of the connector. 
like even the connectors people claim it's crazy i didn't even know that but this is also a nice beautiful rhinestone necklace it's like almost like a choker in a way um let's see what it looks like in the back there it is in the back not sure if there's a name like i said i'm not going to be searching because i don't want to do too much searching like i just did okay and i'm going back into here still again into there okay that's it for the second pouch these are nice beautiful rhinestone um, bracelets for your fingers oh my gosh i love jewelry love 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 oh my goodness i could just sit here and play and there is two of them oh there's another item here oh there's a couple rhinestones missing it looks like but that could be replaced those are easy to replace you just add some a little bit of dot of glue and then just throw some in there i guess and this one here i have had something like this before not exactly the same i think i have another one but not like this and i can't remember how it opens it's like a rose beautiful rose and then all these nice beautiful crystal um beads with this gold beads this is super cute I want to open it, but I don't want to break it because I don't want to um, hurt it, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to put everything back. So if you're interested in any of those, please let me know. I just wish there was so much more time, you know, when you just want to look at everything and you're like, oh, you know, you just, oh, me, I just want to look at everything. I'm so fascinated by all of the goodies i just love okay i'm going to the third so the uh first row third row or third spot sorry and i'm already at 11 minutes so i'm gonna try to hurry oh here is a remember i don't know what's in it here is a bangle not a bangle a bracelet rhinestone bracelet that's what it looks like pretty Do you guys ever feel like super lazy? I'm so lazy. It's unbelievable how lazy I feel. There's like a little mark right there. And I'm not sure what that is from. I feel so lazy. It's just unbelievably crazy. I don't know if there's maker's mark, but I'm not going to flip it. Okay. Here is a little locket. I don't know if it opens. Let's see. Oh, it does open. Oh, look at that. There's a little garden angel. That's so sweet. A little gold one it has a magnet on it there and close it and then you can put it on your necklace oh i love that that's so cute okay so that's that next one here it is another necklace here that has huge rhinestones this must be the rhinestone one beautiful one rhinestones okay here it is this one here i don't know what that is but and there it is there that's what the back looks like i'm not sure what the prices would be for this but that is nice this is almost like the same stone as this one here wow this is just more shinier there has some like little marks in the back of it though i guess from hitting the back of it but oh man that's delicate didn't even know that this is, would be so delicate so even if you scratch the back of it it will scratch the whole rhinestone okay look at this one here <laughs> this is blingy very blingy oh that's so cool mm, look at that huge rhinestones what does it say rock rock hard rock hard rock it's like, it's like hard rock cafe right in vegas and here's the end of it wow that's pretty cool okay that's it for that one okay next one next one next one next one then it's like a monday you know it feels like a monday you know how that feels it feels like a monday look at these cool bracelets i've never seen anything like this before but i thought they're cool like look how cool those are uh, that's something different i tell you i thought they're cool and i don't come across many of these so they've got to be very rare very very rare and they're quite unique like look how unique these are very unique 
Okay, so those are those. Don't know if they're silver, nothing, no idea. Okay, okay, I'm going into the second row in the back. I have a, oh, looks like a necklace with a magnifying glass. I'm assuming this is what that is, a magnifying glass. Don't know which way. I guess that won't work, eh? Silly lady. Oh, this is it right here, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Heavy duty glass. Put that back there. Not sure if there's any, it doesn't look like there's any scrapes. No, it looks in pretty good condition. Uh, has a dragonfly on it. And then it comes with this chain. I'm not sure if it's gold. It doesn't, see, that's the thing. I don't know if gold is, if they have extensions. I think they probably would, right? Um, it's a beautiful necklace though. It's a rope chain necklace. I used to wear a lot of those when I was younger, but my hair would get caught in it. So that's that. Let's try the magnet. Let's see if it will work. I don't think it's gold, but hey, let's try. Yeah, there we go. But it's a beautiful necklace. Like, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. It's absolutely stunning. Like, that's a beautiful piece. Okay, the next piece in there is a, looks like a turtle pendant. See, look at how odd my items are. They're like here, here, there, there, different little items. Look at this. I don't know. No, it's a ladybug. Never mind. The huh. ladybug, glass ladybug pendant. I don't know why. I, I always see a lot of turtles. I think that's probably why I said turtle. But it could look like a turtle. It's cute. And it's attached together by glass. That's neat. That's cute. Great for a little baby. Not baby, kid. Sorry. Little girl, boy, whoever. That's cute. I love that. Okay, let's go to the next item. Next, I mean, next bucket here. Just grab everything. Here we go. Okay, we got a rhinestone bracelet. Oh, it's huge. Thick. So it's made very well because it's heavy duty. You can see it's heavy, heavy duty. And look at the way the rhinestones are. Nice. Look at this ring. That's cool. It's like a match. Wow. That's neat. Oh, two. Okay, oh, there we go. I would say it's too um, big. It's like, that's different. That's like fashionable, I think. Neat. Definitely neat. Cool. It doesn't seem like it has like a maker's mark or anything that I could see anyway. I think that's like heavy duty. Okay, we have some earrings in here. Oh, very well made earrings with hemoglite, hema, hema, hematite, hematite. I don't know the words, but those are stunning. Look how shiny those are. They're very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very well made. Beautiful. I'm just watching YouTube in the back. You know how much I love watching my YouTube. I just cannot stop watching it. Here's the back of it. Made so well. Wow. Beautiful. These are beautiful earrings. Very stunning. I don't think I have anything like that in my collection. We also have these earrings here. I believe these were earrings I bought off of um, Dawn. I think. I think these are the earrings. They are stunning, beautiful earrings. They are made like that. So they go under your lobe, I guess. But those are pretty. Those are very pretty. Oh, here's the next item here. It looks like it is for maybe an Apple Watch. You think? You think this is an Apple Watch holder? I think it is. It's beautiful. Rhinestones. Just looking to see if there's any marks. This is beautiful. This is fancy. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that there. And that one. What do you guys think so far? What do you guys think so far? Let me know. Let me know. I want to know. Do you like my jewelry collection? I don't know if anybody has really commented about that. Okay, we're going to the next one here. Let me know what you guys think. I need to know if you like my collection. Okay, I think this is everything. Okay, so the first thing is this necklace here. Look at the medallion, beautiful 
made very well looking it's nice and um well it's a nice circle but then the little marks in the back of it, it's very nice the flowers little flowers and those are those little um oh man mosaic mosaic i keep thinking there's so many different words look how made it's very made very well look at the the way the chain is made super duper different and very high-end looking like it's not like a typical clairs that's for sure that's the clasp here no name but man that is delicately made very well i think very nice okay i will put this back in there so if you're interested let me know here is a very well made um bracelet and it does have a tag on it and it says br i do have things from br but i don't know who it is and it's a th it's a it's a um I don't know what size my wrist is actually, but if it's my wrist and it's like very, very flashy, like, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's silver. It looks like it could be, but that would be a lot. Just those balls. Wow. The connection, the, the connecting is just intense. Wow. That's a lot of stuff on these little things. That is made very, very well. Okay. I also have this bracelet here. Look at this one here. Beautiful. I did keep this one for myself. I did like this one a lot because of the, um, they have like S's on there and that's my last name. It starts with an S. I mean, it looks like it. S. But look at the uh, way it's made. Look at the colors of it. It's made very well. And that's what the clasp looks like. It's a T. It's pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm glad I'm going through all of this because some things are not as valuable as some things, right? Look at this bracelet. Wow, neat. I'm not sure... It looks like, you know, I don't know. Do they make clasps like this nowadays? Because this could be, well, look at the way it's made right here. Like just these pieces, like the, with the, the connections, very nice. I don't think this would be like a Claire's. I don't think this would be a Claire's, no. Look at this one right here. This, I think it's, yeah, that's the last item. Look how made. Look how this one's made. That is neat. That's definitely artisan made. It's beautiful. I love it. It's an actual nice, beautiful piece. And that is beautiful. Look at the way that stone is. Wow, it's beautiful. This looks like very old. Made. Wow, I love the way it's made. It's crazy. Like, look at the, the binding in the stone that they had to, like, wow. Isn't that stunning, guys? And look at the way these are made. Like, come on. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. beautiful okay i'm <clears throat> going what how much time is it 23 minutes in okay i'm going into the next row back here this would be the third row because the other row is off so i'm going right here now halfway done okay and here is a bracelet oh another bracelet sea beads and that's the thing because i always forget what is the words i need to say what are the words i need to say we've got a necklace we got a bracelet and another necklace. Some odds and ends there, I could tell you, I think. Okay, we have a um, bracelet here. Has a little, I don't know, has a tag number on there. Could be stainless steel, not sure. But it is a nice, huge bracelet. Long, very nice and long. 
got the gold and the silver. That's super pretty. I like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Very high-endly made, I think. This one here is very old. Look at the way this is made. Not sure what it's made out of. I'm assuming it's some kind of steel. I don't know if there is a maker's mark. But my goodness, that is beautiful. See, that's one thing I don't know if it's gold or not gold. Do you know? I've seen a couple of women or a couple other YouTubers. They would say, like, say, for instance, it was like a, a thick um, ne uh, bracelet. And it would be like gold. It's like, wow, I would like that. I just don't know. Maybe I might have something and I don't even know, right? These are sea beads. Is that what I think that's? Or beads. This is made very well too because look at all of the strands and it's and it's um, braided. So I, I was, un I, basically this stuff was unique to me, right? That's probably why I did collect it is because it, it's unique to me. And uh, fantasy, fa fa fantasy, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Here is a vintage necklace. It has a bunch of bows. It does have an extender, so you know it's probably from the 50s, late 50s, 60s. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything written on there, but it almost looks like a trafari to me. I'm starting to learn jewelry, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I love that, though. Okay, we also have another necklace here, and it has, this is what the clasp looks like right there. It's the older one. I'm not sure who has made this one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Like the gold, it kind of looks like it is Avon. But these pieces, and it's a choker. So, I mean, this is like really small. This has got to be so, this is preserved, I think. This would have been something really old. And it's preserved really well, I think. <clears throat> but I could be totally wrong, so sorry. So that's what I want. I'm going to take a picture. I just love it, like, beautiful. Beautiful. And I have a lot of vintage necklaces that I, I don't know, I've been attracted to vintage necklaces. My, my grandma, uh, from she passed away in the 80s and I got her jewelry box and she has a lot of vintage jewelry in there. And I think that's probably why I was so attracted to jewelry is because of her because she had like this really vintage jewelry box. She only really had a little bit of jewelry. Cause back then you, they didn't have very, like if you're rich, you have a lot of jewelry. If you're not rich, you don't have very much, right? So I think that's where I got my um, love for jewelry. It was from my, my grandmother. Okay, we have this piece. This is a old, heavy piece. This looks like sterling, definitely with all of these huge rhinestones now this is something else let's see if it'll fit my wrist it does she's got some weight she's got to be worth some money here this is beautiful i'm gonna get my husband to shine this one up we're gonna bring her back to life okay so we got that one there looks like we have some earrings i'm not sure why i would keep i don't like to keep earrings if they're if they're new, sure, but if they're not new, I don't like to keep them. Um, I would wash them anyways and then preserve them that way, like clean them, give them their whole bath and their shock and everything. But um, for me, I am very particular, so I like to make sure my earrings are obviously clean and for the most part new. But here are some gold tone and there's a rhinestone missing. And like me, I would just personally just take these and put them away, like put them with the earring lot. So I'm not going to put these back in. And here are these ones here. I I love hoops. Hoops were my favorite because like, and this is cool. Like these are differently made, um, but I don't think that they're gold. And yeah, yeah, they're not gold. So, and I don't think these ones are either. Mm. I just want to make sure these ones are not sticking these ones are not sure but that's I think this is the one that has the rhinestone missing right yeah 
Yeah, the rhinestone is missing, but these are shiny rhinestones. Mm -hmm. like they're all shiny, but there's one missing. Oh, I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know. I'm not too sure, guys, but I'm just going to put them there for now. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Looks like we have another bracelet. Just want to make sure. Yep. Oh, and some earrings. Oh. I'm not sure. Did they go together? They don't look like they go together because that has four and this one has five. Right? Look at the way the rhinestone just shines. It's beautiful. They could go together, right, though? Mm-hmm. They have some marks on them. This is really old. Like the um, elastic. This has got to be vintage, too. It's pretty. That would look really nice. Just imagine on your wedding day or your, um, like one of those days at, uh, you know, prom, wedding day. I think wedding day would look fabulous. I think that's fabulous for sure. And then you have your earrings. I think that's pretty. Yes, I do. This would remind me of my nice, beautiful, soft day. See, I don't even know if any of this stuff's worth it. Like me i would just keep the collection and just keep it and look at it you know what i mean that's me my my door is open so i'm so sorry i have my coffee here and there's a fly hanging around i think he wants my coffee okay and we have the you know it's a nice uh day out right now okay i think this says china this is looks like those tie bears but i don't think it is what is this one? Oh, here is like a almost like a shell or a yeah, it looks like a shell with a bunch of little other shells inside it or something like that. That's neat. Okay, we got some earrings, some dangly earrings. They look like they're grapes in a way. We also have these ones, clusters. Cool. Different. Oh, they're made. Look how they're made. Nicely made. We have some rings. They look like shell rings. A larger one and a smaller one. Look at that. They're so cute. Oh, very nice. And then we have a... It looks like it's come, it came off something. There we go. That's cute, though. I like the way these are made. They're very nice. And we have this brooch here. I'm not sure if there's a maker's mark. I, You know what? When I started collecting, I never even knew. But look at the way that shines off. Very pretty. And then we got this little baby ring here. Very nice. Look at that. It's like a little flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. It's made nicely. And I think I got, I think I did everything there. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Yeah. Some of this stuff is like, it will go into my little, a different little area. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Okay. The next one. And then we have one ro row left. Okay. We have this bracelet here. Uh, this is a Betsy Johnson bracelet. I think, yeah, the little guy is right here. Um, I purchased this from another buyer online. I think it was uh, Josie. So it just needs to be glued back on there so it's a cameo cameo and here is the bracelet never even really looked at it to be honest I yeah it's like felt it's like a charm bracelet I don't know if these are anything they don't feel that doesn't feel cold but they do look real that's cool I like that okay so that's that one and then this one here it looks vintage to me but I don't know it looks like it because of the way the color is I'm not sure okay I'm going to the back row guys let's see what I got in the back row here oh here is a necklace here it's a large necklace oh okay it's like a choker made very thick and well it looks like I'm going to get my honey to shine that up. There we go. That's beautiful. I have to showcase this one. You guys, come on. Like, Look at this. 
beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I gotta take a picture. Okay, and then there's a couple of little items back here too. I'm just gonna grab. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got these press-on earrings. They have like cougars on them. Looks like cougars. Don't know if there's a maker's mark. Let's check to see real quick if there's anything that I can see quickly. Look at the way the um, the back is here. And that's another thing I've heard that they make um, backings. They do different. As far as I know, these could be Versace. <laughs> I don't know if they are. Or Givenchy. They're pretty cool. That's cool. I got to take a picture of that just in case. Okay, and then we have this necklace here. It's made. I like the way it's made. It's it's like looks like two necklaces in one, and that's what the clasp looks like. And that's it's like a choker, but it's very pretty. So I like stuff like this. I like bling. I'm a blingy kind of girl. Okay, so that's that, and I'll put those there. And here is this beautiful piece. I don't know if who made it or what it is. I'm not sure, but it's absolutely stunning looking and it's heavy duty. And I don't know what these are, but they don't have holes in the back. And that's the ball. Super pretty. It doesn't look like it has a name. I would have to probably Google lens it, but I think this is stunning. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section if you think this is something. I'm, I would like to know. Okay, that's that one there. Yeah, because I don't know what I have. I'm, I'm new to this and I'm just a collector of just jewelry. I don't, uh, uh, you know, I don't have anything uh, valuable that I know of that just basic stuff. Okay, these I know are worth some money because I did Google them. I didn't know I had them with my vintage necklaces and I was like, oh my gosh, what are these? And I had it and I was like, okay, oh, that's so cool. That's neat, that's different. And, um, cause it has the old class. And I think they're like, what does they call them? How light? They're like little eggs. And they look like little oaks in them. And they're super cute and they're like, and it's um, knotted. So I thought this was definitely made well, vintage. And I don't know what these are and they're all different shapes. But it is, like I said, it's, um, or like I said, I didn't say, but they're bigger and then they go smaller. Uh, so graduated, graduated. And it's small and thin. It looks like a bunch of little nuts, little nuts or little eggs. That's cool. I'm assuming this probably is um, how you let, how a light, I think that is, is that what they say? Girl, you guys know that I'm like not even there. I try, I try, I try, I try, but you know, it's hard to remember a lot, especially when you get older, I tell you. Here is a necklace here, not sure, it doesn't look like it has a maker's mark, but it's made, it has three strands, it's heavy. This would like remind me of a fashion, like a Macy's or a fashion jewelry from somewhere bougie, because look at the way that is made. Mm -hmm. look at the look at the rhinestones that's pretty and then you got all these pearls and gems here I, I like this one like this is something I would definitely wear this for sure a hundred percent something I like definitely my kind of cup of tea yeah that's my kind of tea <laughs> cup of tea my kind of jewelry Got a little bit of this, I got a little bit of that, and the necklace is nice, it's not like a typical necklace. Okay, last two rows, I mean last two parts, and then I'm done, guys. Okay, we've got some rhinestone stuff here again. 
Ooh, look at this here. I don't know. This looks like silver. Definitely a silver with, whoa, what is it? Oh, so you tie it like that, maybe. I don't know. Or is it broken? Look at this beautifulness. Maybe it gets attached here. <sighs> no idea. But it is definitely sterling silver. It has a bunch of writing on it. And then there's this. Wow. I tell you something else. This is stunning. Stunning. Okay, we have this old choker. It looks like it's older with the back of the rhinestones uh, the connected. And that's super shiny too. And this one here, I'm not sure if it's the same. It doesn't look the same. The ends are different. No, they're the same. It's just different colors. And you can see the coloring. Different coloring. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's those. And then the last bucket. I'm just going to grab it. But wow. Those are stunning. Okay, and then these. I need like a whole bucket full, like one big bucket full of rhinestone stuff. And then one big bucket of, you know, silver or gold or pearls. Here is a bracelet. It's super shiny. Very, very bougie looking. Nice. Like that. I A B crystals. Is that what they're called? And then you got this old bracelet here. Another gorgeous piece. Nothing's missing. Pretty. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you guys for today. I hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I really love you guys so very much. You guys are awesome. Everything's back in there. I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification. And show me some love. And I will talk to you guys soon. And uh, you guys all take care. Bye, everyone. Love you.